It is now September 2nd, 2019. It's been a couple of weeks of testing our muffin flavors and we had some friends coming over so we really wanted to get their honest opinion on our new muffin business. Since we hadn't yet nailed the final products, we baked each flavor two to three different ways to see what they liked better. We wanted to have them try our butterscotch caramel flavor and also our chocolate Nutella cookie butter flavor as well. <laughs> This is more candy than I've had in like six months. <laughs> Reckless, I like that. It's still steaming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get like a third degree burn of chocolate chip. <laughs> it's so good. It's like a birthday party. Yo. <laughs> Verdict between caramel or no caramel? It's hard because you hit me with like a hot one. <laughs> like that's, yeah. that's its own category. <laughs> this one was super good, the caramel with the Nutella. That was a really good mix. And then I'm a huge fan of chocolate chips. But the the sugar crystals adds a nice texture because everything yeah. else is so like gooey and mushy that that crunch is, is like a I cool. like the brown sugar. We just started doing that. You, did you get brown sugar, like big brown sugar crystals? It's like sugar in the raw, so it's yeah. like turb. Oh. I forgot what it's called, turbuline sugar, something like that. Yeah, they're really good. It's hard to pick. It's really hard to pick. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to order like the the morbidly obese assorted. <laughs> <laughs> the twelve pack. <laughs> like everything you got, put it in a box. Oh my gosh. It's well back. <laughs> okay, so which one of these was better? Well, I mean, this one was hot. But <laughs> this like... one had more of like a muffin structure. This one, obviously the caramel, just like a lava cake. It took, took it like over. the fluffy cake and just like yeah. in the middle, it was just all at the bottom, I noticed. So. Trial and error. Definitely. Definitely a, a, a good dud though. <laughs> like that one, we would obviously give like a syringe of like caramel. Yeah, without a doubt. And the, like the caramel taste is a really good taste in this. It just, it definitely just flattened out the inside of this muffin. Yeah. So yeah, if you use the syringe, I think. Do you think it'd be better with caramel in it or without it? Like with the syringe? Well, so I think there's two options. Either you put the syringe with the caramel in it or you bake the muffin and then drizzle caramel on it. Yeah. And then you get the caramel taste yeah. without yeah. jacking up the inside of the muffin. Yeah, we definitely can't put it in the yeah. inside. And I think it would look cool if you had like maybe a crisscross. Yeah. 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 I was gonna do good. that with those with like cookie butter and Nutella, but with packaging, like if it gets hot, then it's just right, gonna so be like a to the top. That's the biggest, hot mess. That's the biggest, uh, you know how Cin Cinnabon right? has like those like single plastic containers yeah. that has like enough room yeah, in the top? So we're about to order those. Or even yeah. like or even like yogurt land. It's like it's like the cardboard cup yeah, and with it the, has like the dome yeah. plastic. Yeah. I still don't think that would work for shipping though, because if it turns upside down, right, right. they're gonna be destroyed. It has to be like a cup holder, and you put the muffins in, yeah. hmm. and you I just wrap it, them individually, like in saran I wrap. Think that. Yeah, can't do that. Trial and error looks like we know now that in our gold mine, you don't put caramel in the middle because well, this is what happens. So. And this one, I tried gold spray, and that's a no-go. So, you know what? Trial and error really does work. You gotta try different things out to find the right recipe. 